your throwbacks. I'm back with another Emmett's Field uh, unpacking jersey final. Um, this one didn't come in the usual um, Emmett's Field box, but that's fine. What I'm worried about is what's on the inside. Uh, shout out to Throwback King because he's the one who kind of convinced me to get this one because they were having a sale. There was two jerseys I was choosing from. I wasn't even crazy about to be honest. Like, Why am I gonna get it from my crazy about it? He he so was like, yeah, you should get this one. And he was right when I looked at it, I'm like, you know what, that one's better. I actually liked it better. And the player that it's based off of is um a player I've been wanting a jersey for. And that is let me open this up. Awesome. Grab something real quick. But um, yeah, so what it is is a 1938 Road uh, San Francisco Seals lefty on dual jersey. And here it is. Uh, so, a couple things. Lefty O'Doul is a San Francisco uh, baseball legend. He, um, he did play 11 years in the major leagues, uh, two and a half years with the New York Giants at the time. Uh, career 349 batting average, which is great. That's a great number to have. He was also uh, born in San Francisco, um, passed away in San Francisco. He um, is known for working with young hitters, uh, Joe DiMaggio and Willie McCovey. He was the Seals, San Francisco Seals manager from 1935 to 1951. And um, not only was he a manager, he was a, a player manager. So he, the manager, and he would also play. Um, not for those whole, all those years. Obviously, in the older years, he was older. But um, the year that this is, which this is a 1938 road jersey, uh, that famous number, that lefty old dude known for number 26. He did play that year as a manager and played with the Seals. So uh, a couple other things about him. Um, in 1929 and 1932, he did lead the major leagues in Austin batting average. Um, I've never watched the movie The Natural, I'm not going to lie, but the, uh, the the character Roy Hobbs in that movie is based loosely or partially based off of Lefty O'Doul. Um, a couple other things in San Francisco related. The bridge behind... Um, the Giant Stadium, Oracle Park, uh, over McCovey Cove, that little bridge right there is actually called Lefty O'Doul Bridge. That's named after this man right here. He also, uh, I don't, they don't have it anymore unless they're somewhere else. But I know downtown they used to have the restaurant Lefty O'Doul's. Um, and then uh, it had moved. It was at um, Fisherman's Wharf on Jefferson Street. I had been to that one when it was there before they shut down. Uh, it was a buffet, all type of Giants um, memorabilia. Everywhere. It was a really nice place, but that place did shut down but um so we got this jersey with this patch um this patch right here is the um the uh, to commemorate the 1939 uh this well this is like i said 1938 jersey so this is commemorating that the next year was going to come up which is the 1939 golden um golden gate international um, exposition world fair in san francisco that was um, part of that was honoring the two recent bridges that were built in San Francisco, the uh, Bay Bridge in 1936 and the Golden Gate Bridge in 1937. So among other things, but that was gonna be held in San Francisco. Uh, therefore the seals did wear these commemorative patches. Uh, yeah, so now we can get into the jersey. Bottom, like usual, they don't put a, a jock tag anywhere on the bottom, which I like. I love that they don't do that, honestly. Um, but yeah, so you got that wool. The jersey is, it says 50% wool, 50% polyester. So this is the jersey. Come up here, you have that beautiful seals, double stitch felt, uh, lettering and felt. It is orange on top of navy blue. Got that in that cursive lettering, which I like. Uh, right sleeve doesn't have anything but on the left sleeve you have the beautiful like i said that 1939 golden gate exposition patch also felt with the orange um being stitched really beautiful patch they killed it That's the front of the jersey. We'll go right here real quick. You got your average field uh, flannel tag. 50% wool, 50% polyester made in USA. Large with this right here always that they have. Uh, Ebbets Field 
Brooklyn Dodgers um, ticket stub. Go to the back. It's all wool or wool and polyester, like it says. And then you come up, you got that nice 26 double stitch felt. Orange on navy blue. And that's it. That's it for this jersey. So I'm gonna try it on now and see how it fits. So this is the jersey on me. It's a large, it fits great. Um, I really couldn't be happier with this jersey. It's shout out to like I said, Throwback King for even convincing me to get this one because he was right. Definitely happier with this one than um I think I would have been with the two other ones that I was debating about. Um and like I said, Lefty O'Doul, who is not only a SEALs legend, but he's a San Francisco baseball legend in general. A lot of ties to the city, baseball and outside of baseball, just he's really represented San Francisco or represented San Francisco. So like I said, I'm happy to have a jersey now that uh, that's his jersey, really, the lefty will do with that patch. Nice big patch right there. So that's the jersey, like I said, 1938 Road, San Francisco Seals, lefty O'Doul jersey. Um, and if you're a San Francisco or Bay Area baseball fan, you should definitely look into lefty O'Doul. Um, Probably doesn't get talked about enough, but yeah, he's a huge legend when it comes to San Francisco. Um, there's actually a book I have um, written about him. I haven't got to read it yet, but I do have that, and I plan to read that eventually. But that's that. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like. If not, it's all good. If you're already subscribed, thank you for being here. And if you're not, uh, subscribe if you like the content. Have a good day, everyone. I'll see you next time.